those 2016 polls we were talking about, no surprise on the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton with a big lead. But on the Republican primary, Rand Paul is your current front runner, and there it's very tight. Chris Christie just a point behind at 10 percent, along with Jeb Bush and Mike Huckabee. So who will the nominee be for the Republican Party in 2016? Turns out Utah's Jason Chaffetz, a congressman, has a surprise prediction. He pulled a wild card when asked about the Republican nominee this week. Chaffetz thinks that Mitt Romney will be the Republican nominee for president. Again, seriously, saying not only will Romney win the nomination, Chaffetz thinks Mitt will win the White House as well. There is some history of candidates winning nominations twice in a row and losing both elections. Senator Adlai Stevenson won the Democratic nominee in 52 and 56. He lost to Eisenhower both times. Tom Dewey, governor of New York, was the GOP nominee in 44 and 48. He lost to FDR the first time and Harry Truman the second time. And he really thought he won the second time. He did. <laughs> Tom Dewey? Tom? Uh, that informal? Tom Dewey. Oh, yeah. Tom, you didn't We go way back. <laughs> Is there any concept? I saw a poll once that said if you could do it over again, would you have changed your vote, Romney and Obama? These are the definition of hypotheticals, but any chance Romney has a second act in him or no? It would be a third act, actually. He did run in 08. Right, it yes, would be a third true. act. And, uh, well, let's, let's state for the record, he has consistently said that he's not running. Yes. But if you take those uh, not, not runnings as perhaps, I think he has a great shot. Things are going so badly, whether Especially we believe it or not. Especially for the moderates, the Christie self-implosion, Jeb Bush is real questions. Christie was never going to be president, Richard. Uh, never. He I, never I, had a I'm shot. Sorry, even Robert. Never. Into that one. <laughs> yeah. Mitt's made but, a few but, but comments. He can, he, can, he can win. Mitt's been proven win. to be at least somewhat in the ballpark. Some of the, some of his prognostications. Coming Ukraine. Off of Obama, and da, 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 you you know, it. Obama's everybody, come through for him. Everybody looks better in hindsight. You know, George W. Bush's numbers go up. Bill Clinton's numbers go up. I mean, every ex-president's numbers go up. Uh, so there's that. And because he hasn't been in the spotlight in a while, you forget. You forget how stiff he was. You forget how, how he seemed to just absolutely not play oh, sincerely they, in a number but, of... But they learn from their mistakes. Of course he would be a much better candidate this time. I'm not so he would sure. Be, Mitt Romney, he's not a fool. He would be much more personable. And he would learn how to flip his money and make it work for him as his net wealth Look, we, instead of being a negative. We showed Hillary, uh, Hillary Clinton's numbers doing real well. Her numbers were even higher before she was back in public life, when she was in that break between course, being secretary. Of course, because she wasn't considered a candidate. Right, and because people forgot who she was, forgot the things that bothered them about her. Uh, same thing with Mitt Romney. Yeah, you might like him a little bit more now that he's not in the spotlight. He gets back in the race and he gets the bullseye on him. I don't know if people have the same impression. I just wonder... <laughs> if how long the Rand Pauls of the world are taken as a serious name. It's Rand just... Paul is a serious name in this race. Are he you absolutely... serious? He's a serious ra name to Damn. win the Republican nomination. We, our first segment was on marijuana. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you really believe you Rand Paul is a serious candidate? I really, I really do. First of all, no. wow. the, the poll numbers well, say he is. Wow. He's working with Cory Booker on wow. two different things right now. He's been yeah. working with uh But, with but Andrew, Gillibrand. this helps me with my segue. <laughs> Um, hmm. 50 years ago, we passed civil rights legislation. Yes, in this the country. Republicans did. And according to Rand Paul, that was a mistake. <laughs> maybe we should have done that. And if we go to certain diners, maybe Dominic can't sit with us, and that's okay with Rand Paul. Now, as we said, the nation just celebrated the 50th anniversary of LBJ signing the Civil Rights Act. How far we have come or not come as a nation, and believe this or not, would a similar bill pass in Congress today? Don't say, of course, just yet. We'll be hearing from a political science expert after this. Stay with us.